your hole now Okay, now that we've had it out in the ring, can you agree not to message me anymore? What are you talking about? I don't think I've ever messaged you. Right, fine. Then can your anonymous burner accounts stop messaging me? I don't have anonymous burner accounts. You were the one messaging me and asking me all those questions. No, I wasn't. Let me guess. You got a bunch of random messages from an account who wouldn't leave you alone, and when you told them to stop, they said they'd meet you in the ring before Raw? Pretty much. I traveled all the way here just to make it stop. I did think it was weird for you to mess with me after I helped you on NXT 2.0. Looks like we both got played. Great. So that match brought us no closer to getting this person to knock it off. <sighs> hey. Did they ask you what your favorite smell is? No. Great, so that was just me. Well, let me know if you find out who it is. I want to take this person out. Same, and I will.
Well, that was fun. Honestly, I'm glad we got the chance to hang out. Even if it took you harassing me to make it happen. Oh, no. It's okay. I get it. I can get a little overexcited sometimes myself and take things too far. Although, asking my favorite way to prepare potatoes was just weird. But next time you have questions, just send me one big list and I'll get to them when I get a chance. I didn't send you those questions, Fanny. She did it again. Both got duped. What? You aren't the one who won't leave me alone? Oh, come on. I left my brother's wedding to come down here and end this. I didn't even get to do the chicken dance. And that's the best part. We need to figure out who's doing this. Send me everything they sent you. There's gotta be a clue in there somewhere. I will. But don't judge my answers. I was very honest. Too honest. On second thought, read them again and tell me if you can pick up on anything. Will do. And we're underway with this tag team tornado match stemming from some social media duplicity. I don't know why everyone has to make such a big deal out of a homeless online play. Marvelous? That was unreasonable deception. I'm just glad I've never been catfished. You have, Saxton. You don't have a long-lost cousin. You've been sending your banking info to me. Seriously? Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Oh, face! Getting back into the ring. Grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Uh oh. She scores big with the counter. Right, here we go. Inverted DDT. Quickly the cover. Maybe not. The breakup. Oh, what a four. Face first with a waistlock takedown. No. 
not give up fully on display. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Reciprocating the initial reversal. No way! Oh, suicide dive! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Gets inside the ring. Take that skull first. Delivered into the barricade. Oh. Caught with that floor. She bails in a hurry. And Gigi didn't see that coming. Double star. She is not looking good right now. Uh-oh. Jawbreaker! On the death. That's a few times now she's taking a hit up in that region. Lining up something big. What are we going to see? Carefully placed stop to the arm. Can that keep Jaycee down? Two count! The mind games of GG Dolan on display right now. She was done there. Oh, and a reversal. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. She's looking for the win. And referee cuts off the count in one. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. She re-enters the ring now. Turnbuckles. Oh, solid form. She can't take much more of this. Uh oh. Flame shot set to the outside. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Oh, basement. I'm sure you heard the latest episode of my podcast. I was wondering if you had any response to Tamina's comment saying you have fear in your eyes? According to her, even in the ring, you're looking to escape. Or better yet, how about you two have a match without leaving the ring? You can call the ring Alcatraz tonight because there's no escaping allowed. I've got it on good authority that this stems from Tamina's disparaging comments about a certain opponent on a recent podcast. A little podcast smack talk aside, didn't multiple people escape from Alcatraz? Like, I'm not sure that analogy holds up, Cole. Nonetheless, the referee will do their best to keep these two in the ring to settle their issue. Ouch. Humiliating. Split-legged leg drop. WWE fans now pinning the arm down and oh, stop right to the hand. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Go, go, go. Oh, this, this superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Just non-stop aggression. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Goodness gracious. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Momentum is completely shifted to Tamina. Just look at Tamina go. Carefully measured knee drop. She's enduring some damage. She still has a lot of time to recover. And that was an effective attack, guys. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. 
fingers in the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Getting set up for something in the corner. Ooh, or face wash. Ooh. Oof. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Great athleticism. And the momentum's clearly against Tamina now. Tamina has to devise a new plan here. He's doing ankle breaker. He's stomping. Ouch. How humiliating. Split legged leg drop. Goes into the pin. The T clearly set again. Bam! Stiff kick. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Just driven into the mat. And she's keeping the pressure on here. She's going at full throttle right now. Can she do it here? And the count stops short of two. She is still in this fight. Oh, Tamina gets cut off. Oh, basement clothesline. Ouch. Is it enough? The cover. Oh, and a kick out. How did she do that? I can't believe it. The people can't believe it. I don't think the referee can believe it. Something big. What are we gonna see? Oh, Tamina's in crisis mode. That's gotta be it. Two. It's a and a big victory here tonight. I don't know about you, but I desperately need a vacay. Sun, sand, margs, and if a superstar wanted to join me and maybe have a match for research, I could get WWE to pick up the tab. So, any interest in doing a little work south of the border? First round's on me.
You're not the only one looking to improve their street cred. I'm trying to get better at editing my own footage. Only problem is, so many matches are so quick it's hard to get enough content to really experiment with. Maybe you could do me a solid and face someone in a two out of three falls match? Then I'd really have something to work with. One maybe the loneliest number in tonight. It won't be enough to get the win as this match will take two out of three falls to get the victory. I love a two out of three falls match. I say more falls the better. More falls equals more wrestling. Let's do three out of five. Four out of seven. No one wants to listen to you for that long, Saxton. Oh, no! Stop to the arm! Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Split-legged leg drop. Off into the pen. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Takedown, skull first. She's pushed into the corner. A handstand, and now using his foot to his advantage. Just a tenacious assault from her, dictating the pace of the match now. She steers clear of that. From behind, a and roll takedown. Bridges back. This could do it. She kicks out at one. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Greg Lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. Beautiful athleticism. Hurricane Rana. And just like that, we kick the tempo up a notch. Mm -hmm. Taking out the knee. Big form. Made her pay for her mistake. Oh, the arms. Uh oh. Right to the kidneys from behind. Round and round into the satellite DDT. And Chance now chaining some offense together. Yeah, Katana is really grinding the opposition down. It's one of my favorite submissions. Katana perched up top. Flying. She's feeling the hurt here. She got her down. Is this it? She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Tremendous. Uh-oh. Well time sweep shifts the balance. Series of elbows looking at create separation. She does so. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. I hope you're not going to ask me about teaming up. As one half of the first ever women's tag team champions, I understand why you'd want to, but the answer is no. 
What are you talking about? Are you really so out of the loop? Ding dong, hello. All anyone who's anyone is talking about are the rumors that management is going to have a tag team money in the bank ladder match. Whoever wins the briefcase gets a contract they can cash in for a tag team championship match. You get all that, you dummy? I get why everyone's talking about it. That's some interesting gossip. Wait a dang nab second here. You're not planning on entering, are you? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a laugh. You wanted to talk to me? I heard the rumors and I want to be in the tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. Tag team? Money in the Bank? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. It's already the worst kept secret in WWE. But did I miss something? Are you in a tag team now? No, but since when was that a barrier to entry? Seems like WWE's whole deal is putting teammates together at the last minute for matches. Not all of them even like each other. <laughs> Touche. All right, I can get you an opportunity. Yes! To qualify. Ah! And don't think I'm going to play tag team matchmaker. Most of the women on the roster are looking for a partner to swipe right on so that they can win the briefcase and challenge Asuka and Tamina for the titles. I don't have time for it. Find a partner and I'll get you in the qualifying match. Now that, I can do. Thanks. Just make the most of it. Winning the tag championships would be no small accomplishment. Everyone in this locker room is acting like they've never heard of a tag team money in the bank match before. <laughs> You have? No, but my point is that I could have. I've been around WWE so long that I'm not thrown by anything new that management introduces. I am, after all, the most winning woman in all of WWE. Anyone would be lucky to team with me. Speaking of, do you have a partner? No, but I'm looking for one. Interesting, because I've already succeeded at what you're trying to do, winning the tag team titles not to mention the SmackDown Women's Championship. We could make quite a splash, a former and future champion with an up and coming legacy superstar. And it won't be my first Money in the Bank match either. I doubt you'll find anyone else to partner with who has my level of experience. I hear you, but experience isn't everything. Maybe, but it's a lot. And if you do decide you'd be interested in teaming up, I'd be happy to let my experience help us both in the ring. Solid pitch. I'll get back to you. Of course it's solid. Like I said, I know this company like the back of my record-breaking hand. I'm sure you heard about the tag team Money in the Bank match, right? I would be lying if I said I'm not intrigued. I'm pretty interested too. Winning the first ever tag team Money in the Bank would be very cool. Do you have a partner? Mm, not yet. Do you? I'm also looking. We can make a great team. I know I have a rocky history with tag team partners, but I think our shared perspective could be pretty powerful. <laughs> and what's that? Standing in someone else's shadow instead of your own? I could never help shake the feeling that I was playing back up to someone else in my previous tag teams. I may not have a tag team history here, but with my family's legacy, I can certainly relate to that. I thought you might. And I think it's important for tag team partners to understand each other. Anyway, if you want to team up, let me know. This is all so exciting! A Money in the Bank briefcase with a tag team championship contract? Sign me up! Fanny! I thought you were still at NXT! But are you trying to enter the Money in the Bank match? Uh, do you have a partner? I am at NXT, but no rule said I can't compete for those tag team titles! I'm looking for a partner. I want to team up with someone who's as excited about this as I am. You know, with raw ambition. Honestly? I think that's what got me to WWE in the first place, wanting it so badly. I wasn't always as good in the ring as I am now. I get that. Sometimes it's what makes the difference and gets you the win. I'm ambitious too. I know, you've proven that. 
Wearing your aunt's gear for your debut match made such a statement. Despite how everything turned out, inviting that comparison in the first place took guts. I respect that. If you're looking for a partner, I'd love to team up. I'll get back to you. How go the trials and tribulations of a WWE superstar who's looking for true tag team partnership love? Huh? Never mind. How's it going, kid? I know from the chatter around here that you've got options, but I hope you're weighing them carefully. In success, a tag team partner is someone you'll be spending a lot of time with. It's actually how I first got to know your aunt. Yeah... I've actually been trying not to bring that up. I know it's a sore subject all around. Yeah, probably for the best. But it's also a great example of what can happen if you don't choose your partner wisely. Although, after we broke up, our past definitely did fuel our matches against each other. It made it better that we had actual history. Any advice? How do I choose? Decide what you think is most important in your partner. It's different for everyone. Do you want a team with someone who shares your values and perspective? Maybe you want a partner who's as ambitious and driven as you are. Or perhaps it's someone whose experience can help push you to your full potential. Anyway, lots of factors to consider. I think I have an idea of who I'm going to ask. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Riverside, California, Leo Jimenez. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. Here's a woman who lives to find her partner from Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Liv Morgan! Guys, Liv Morgan just living out her dream here in WWE. Yeah, Liv's career has just really taken off. Became this money in the bank and then successfully cashed in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion. Square up. And from Shamal, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Oh, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. Disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, took down to South Florida, and began training full time in mixed martial arts. It's the indie veteran, Josie Jane. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie Jane. Josie Jane brings more than just passion to the ring. She brings years of experience. There's no doubt Josie has earned every opportunity the hard way. 
You can see how much every fight means to Josie. The road to the first ever WWE Tag Team Money in the Bank match begins right here on SmackDown. The brand new rookie and her brand new partner are kicking things off in a qualifying match against Tough as Nails veterans Sonya Deville and Josie Jane. I'll be watching to see if Justine's knees can keep her momentum going here after that big win against David Moreno. Big right hand. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Oh, Larry right to the face. She's taking some big hits here. Return fire from DeVille. Nice takedown. She saw that one coming. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Tag. Here she comes. Caught with a clothesline. Drop kick. And hits the mark. Ruthless. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Morgan on the receiving end. Connected with a short over. She had it scouted. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh, smash! Tough enough contending with one opponent. Now you got to deal with two. Twists the arm and a kick right to the midsection. Split legged leg drop. No, no, I thought it was over. Oh, grief, this is chaotic. Come on, ref. Tonight. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top 
level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT tag champ. Well, this pair certainly has something to celebrate, qualifying for the first ever tag team Money in the Bank match. It was a huge win in there. What was that? Someone said help! Oh my God! What's that she's under? A, a fallen lighting rig? Help! How does this kind of accident even happen? Help. Do you really think this is just an accident, Corey? Well, what else could it be? This tag team's too new to have enemies. Well, we hope she's okay. We'll keep you updated on this developing situation. <laughs>